Hello, in this video we're going to maximize consumer utility subject to a budget constraint. The only twist on this problem is that this consumer consumes three goods, good X, good Y, and good Z. So we're going to maximize utility with three goods. So here's a consumer's utility function. We're using natural logs in it. And here's the consumer's income information. Consumer has $70 of income buys three goods, the price of good X is two dollars, price of good Y one dollar, and the price of good Z fifty cents each. Well when we're maximizing utility, the marginal utility per dollar has to be equal across all goods. So let me write that expression. So regardless if we're doing two goods or three goods or four goods or what have you, the margin utility per dollar has to be equal across all three goods in our case. So here's the margin utility of good X divided by the price of good X, the margin utility of Y divided by the price of good Y, and the margin utility of Z divided by the price of good Z. This is our optimizing condition. When this condition holds, there is no other allocation in which this consumer can maximize utility. Okay, so let's get the margin utilities. We're going to take a partial derivatives. So the margin utility of good X is a partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good X. And we just get 2 divided by X. Marginal utility of good Y Same idea, but this time we're taking the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good y. We just get 1 divided by y. And then finally, the marginal utility of good z. We're going to get 4 divided by z. We're going to take each one of these expressions for marginal utility and plug it into our above formula here, and then also substitute in the corresponding prices. So this is the marginal utility of good X divided by the price of good X. Next we got the marginal utility of good Y divided by the price of good Y. And finally the marginal utility of good Z divided by the price of good Z. Price of good Z being 50 cents. Simplifying this. This right here is just going to simplify to 1 divided by x. This middle expression is just 1 over y. And then this last expression is going to be 8 divided by z. Okay. And let me um, just rewrite this a little bit. So this implies that 1 over x equals 1 over y, or x equals y. From this expression, 1 over y equals 8 divided by z. Oops, 8 divided by z. And this implies that z equals 8 y. So just solving this expression right here for z, you're going to get z equals 8y. I'm going to use these two results right here to eventually plug into the budget constraint. So let me go to a new sheet of paper here. I'm going to write the consumer's budget constraint. So the consumer's budget constraint, we have $70. Price of good X is $2. Price of good X is $1. And the price of good Z is 50 cents. So putting those prices in here, we got the consumer's budget constraint. From the previous screen, we said that X equals Y. 
and z equals 8y. So I'm going to plug these results back into our budget constraint and then solve. So 70 equals 2x, well x is y, so I'm just going to plug in a y there. We got the plus y term. 0.5 times z, well z is 8y, let me substitute 8y into our budget constraint. Now solving this, we get 70 equals 7y, or y equals 10. So when the consumer is maximizing utility, the consumer is going to buy 10 units. These are units here, 10 units a good y. And since x equals y, the consumer is also going to buy 10 units of good x. And z equals 8y, so how many units of good z is the consumer going to get? Well, 8 times 10, since the consumer is buying 10 units of good y, we plug 10 into this expression, and the consumer will get 80 units of good z, so z equals 80. And that is the answer to this consumer maximizing utility problem. Consumer will buy 10 units of good Y, 10 units of good X, and 80 units of good Z. I hope you found this helpful.